Okay, a short reloading video. Wanted to show you what um, pressure signs look like. Uh, a lot of people post videos wondering if this case shows pressure signs or um, is this a flattened primer uh, or what are swipes. So I wanted to show you some cases here uh, that I've been working on. So in the center is a 6.8 SPC, and on either side are some 30, uh, some TAC 30 cases that I've I've uh, sized, and uh, all three have been fired. And what I wanted to show you was like this is a factory Hornady case that was fired in a 6.8 SPC. Uh, it's an SPC two type chamber. Now. If you look here, let me try to get that in focus. If you look here, you'll see kind of no real damage marks. You'll see, you'll see, uh, you can see a little bit of a bright spot. Let's say at 12 o'clock there, right on the M and the R. That's kind of just a, a mark that is made during the process of ejecting the the round out now uh, some people might say oh you see that little mark is that a pressure pressure sign well no let me show you what a pressure sign is all right this case here had i think short head space okay now at the very top you can see a line in the case that is where this was done with a ar-15 that was not even um hooked up to a gas system okay that, that is the extractor <laughs> um, trying to rip this case apart. I mean, you can see in person it's a lot more pronounced, but even here you can see um, pretty good warp to the, to the lip right there. Okay. And also you can see there at 9 o'clock, um, that is the ejector hole <laughs> that uh, this case tried to sneak its way down into. The ejector hole so you can see where the ejector is and I can feel a very definite ridge there maybe you can see it see that on there I mean that is tall okay and then look around the uh, primer there you can see a crater all right this is a hot round all right that's what people say oh be careful pressure when you get up to this now um, this was near max load on a case that had needed, to, we don't have to fire form these, but this case had not been formed yet. Like it, it, it had gotten, um, let me, let me make this clear. It was like this, I formed it and I trimmed it into this and I hadn't fired it before. This one had already been fired once with like a milder load. And I'll say that it kind of, let's say fire form to the chamber. And then this one's shoulder got bumped slightly. So what I've learned here from this is maybe I can take it a little bit easy on the first loading of the case after I had just transformed it into a TAC-30 case. But that is what um, pressure signs look like. They do not, this is not, no pressure signs here. These little marks on there, right here and right here. Those are just part of gas gun living. This has some pressure marks, okay? When you see that, that's where you say, whoop, we're getting close, boys. Basically, the brass can't handle it anymore. So that's what I wanted to show you.